Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So this is my shopping at Artbox part 2. If you missed part 1, then make sure to check that out in the description box below. Today I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I found at Artbox when I went shopping the other day. And I'm also going to do a haul of everything that I bought and I just went all out this time. So this is going to be fun. Anyway, let's get started. These little teeny tiny backpacks are so adorable. They remind me of something that you could find in a Japanese claw machine. Here are all the little hand mirrors you can put in your purse. That mini mirror is super slim. It looks almost like a harmonica. You guys, I can't remember if this is the same as what I filmed in my previous art box video. Some of this stuff looks new to me, but honestly, I can't remember everything. I think that some of these headbands look familiar, but I think these are really cute and they're great for holding back your hair when you do sheet masks or your skincare. And this is some of the same stuff they had in the Esther Bunny collection before, but a lot of it's been sold, so they have a lot fewer items. And then some of these I actually saw at the Esther Bunny pop-up shop in Shintage department store in Seoul. So if you guys are interested in seeing more Esther Bunny merch, then definitely check out that video. I will link it in the description box below. I don't know if you guys saw this on her Instagram page, but Esther Loves You did a collaboration recently with Hello Kitty and it's so cute. My two favorite kawaii characters. I wish it was available in Korea, but I think it's only available in the EU. I'm always a little bit tempted to buy a passport case, but since I have to carry four passports with me whenever I travel, one for each member of my family, I usually just carry them in a zipper pouch. But if I was traveling alone, I might end up using a passport case. Over here, they have a bunch of cute little knickknacks and things that you can put on your shelf. And the price on these is pretty reasonable. It's about two US dollars for some of the cheaper items to about seven US dollars maybe for some of the bigger items. And if you're really into candy, you can get your own gut ball machine and a little tray thing to have your own little candy shop at home. Over here they have some cleaning items. I think those miniature vacuums are so adorable, but I wonder if they really work that well. These are little stacking bins that are super cute. I think getting one of these in every character would look cute stacked up on your shelf. I think this is a little music box that you can customize and give as a gift to someone, which is really cute. I don't know if you guys saw the short video I filmed of S Light in Taiwan, but I saw this VW planter there and I really wanted it. And this is the exact one that I wanted, but I think they had it in mint in Taiwan. I would, I would prefer it in that color, but this was really expensive. It was about 19 US dollars. And it's actually a Japanese product, not a Korean product. And I think a lot of these little planters are from Japan, like that little cat with a tongue hanging out, lapping up the water. These are all so cute. And I really wanted to get all of them. Maybe someday I'll go back and indulge and get the VW planter. This little crystal garden and also the growing toys are fun little things to get for kids. And this looks like a dartboard. Here's a safe where you can keep all of your valuables, although what's to stop somebody from just picking up the safe and taking it, right? These are those little coin banks that come out and grab the coin. And I've seen these in Don Quixote in Japan. They were really popular for a while. They have a bunch of pretty lights here and room decor. I want to take these all back with me to the States to decorate my house with. And there's some light dimmers and different switches. I think that that dome with the lights inside is really pretty. I think that if you're a student and coming to Korea to study abroad or if you're coming here to teach English for a few years, Artbox is a great place to come to pick up cheap and cute room decor for your apartment or your home. It's not the best quality, but it's pretty cute. These mirrors that you can put on your vanity table are so adorable. I love this bunny one. And this is a humidifier section. For some reason, these personal humidifiers are really popular in Korea. I think that a lot of office workers buy them and just put them on their desk. 
because it helps to keep your skin hydrated maybe. I have a small humidifier that looks like a light bulb and I don't really use it because it tips over kind of easily so I'm thinking about getting one of these humidifiers. Some of them also double as aroma diffusers. I think the larger ones do at least. And here is the pencil case section. Let me know in the comments which one you guys like. I think I like that popcorn bucket one. For some reason I like novelty pencil cases like that. And then I noticed they had a new section with some Sumiko Gurashi stuff. And this is a Japanese character that I became very familiar with after playing lots of UFO catchers in Japan. I don't know why, but this line of characters has really started to grow on me. And a lot of these items I don't really recognize. I don't think I've seen them before, so maybe they're new for summer. And here's the little Molong white bunny character. Have you guys seen this cartoon on Netflix? My kids really like it. It kind of reminds me of Tom and Jerry, but cuter. I saw these little wallets with a strap and I thought that they would be perfect for my girls. Here are some cute plastic pouches that would be great for storing pens or other stationery in. On the wall over here, they have lots of cute lights and clocks and different things that you can put on your wall. It turns out that Artbox has quite a nice selection of gummy candy. These all look so delicious. I think this is kind of the equivalent of the dollar section at Target, except everything's more like two or three dollars. Oh, these little pets are probably a little bit more expensive though. My kids were really into those at one point. Sienna has a brown puppy that she gave to Valentina. That flamingo up there dances when you play music. These little mini tote bags I think would make a nice lunch bag for one person. And then I thought this ice cream tote bag was really cute. And then over here they have a little section of Wee Bear Bears stuff. If you guys don't live in Korea, I will try to find some similar products on Amazon or other cute products that you might be interested in purchasing and I'll link them in the description box. And keep in mind that these are affiliate links so I'll earn a commission if you purchase through my links but it'll help me to keep making videos like this. Over here they had some photo albums and some of them had these little mini pockets where you could put insect photos like this one. I was kind of tempted to get this but I didn't really like the cover of it and I wanted to check if the insects photos actually fit into these albums but some of these are really cute I might have to go back and get a couple of them sometimes it feels like photo albums are a thing of the past because everybody keeps their photos on their phones and stores them digitally nowadays but there's something nice about having a physical album to look through especially for my kids they really enjoy looking at old photographs and then down here they have some of the larger albums where you can put multiple photos into one page. Aren't these plushies with the big heads so adorable? I love that little koala. Whenever it's my kid's birthday, I always try to get these numbers and I feel like I'm always scrambling at the last minute to find them right before their birthday. Here are some replacement makeup puffs and you know how your little puff inside the cushion always gets dirty? You can just replace it with a cute one. They have some other cute beauty tools here like mini scissors and a little velcro sheet to pull back your bangs while you do your hair or makeup. And then this looks like an eyelash curler that heats up. These are a little gel masks that you can put on your lips to moisturize them. I've used that choosy one from Japan before and it's not great to use when you have a stuffy nose but it's kind of fun. Summer is coming so they have all these fans here and my kids are really into rocks so they were having a hard time deciding which box of rocks they should get. And they also have some ice packs and other little fun accessories here. Okay, it's time for a haul. First up, I have the Sumiko Gurashi wallet. I let both of my girls pick out a brand new wallet. And this is the one that Valentina picked out. 
It has a little keychain strap with a cute charm and I was hoping that these would have a pocket for coins inside. I'm kind of disappointed that it only has space for bills, but this is still really cute. Sienna picked out this Molong wallet which has a long strap on it and this one is also super adorable. Unfortunately, this one does not have a coin pouch in it which I was really disappointed about but oh well. I didn't open it up to see what it had inside. This one is kind of cool because you can just wear it on your shoulder. I also let each of my girls pick out a pair of stick scissors that they liked. And this is the one that Valentina picked out. This is the baby chone character that is almost like an Esther Bunny ripoff, but it's still cute. These were only 3,500 won, which is a, about three US dollars. So I think it was pretty cheap for this. And then Sienna picked out this one that's a little chick. It's a little more simple, but still super adorable. I thought that my kids were kind of young to use these stick scissors, but both of them have actually been able to use them pretty well. So I let them hold on to them and they like to take them around with them wherever we go to a restaurant and just clip them onto their wallets or put them in their purses. Since I'm always scrambling to find these for birthdays, I just decided to buy these numbers for the next two years for each of my kids. Have you guys ever tried to grow a crystal using sugar? I have and it's really hard. I've never been able to do it successfully so I decided to buy this crystal garden kit for my kids to grow a crystal but this actually contains chemical and not sugar so you can't eat the crystal which is kind of disappointing but we've been growing it for the past two weeks or so and it's growing really really well. The only thing is that it contains monoammonium phosphate which is a chemical that's not safe to touch so I haven't been able to let my kids really touch this they've just watched the crystal grow. I thought these makeup puffs were super cute so I got a few extras for myself and then I also got an extra phone grip because mine is starting to fall apart. And then I got some of this tape to use for wrapping up packages to send to my Patreons and to family members and maybe just to decorate stuff. I think this macaron one is so pretty. I love the pastel colors. This is just regular packing tape but it has a print on it. And then I also got this fruits and vegetables packing tape, which is a little bit more quirky, but it's also super adorable. I can't wait to use this to send out some packages to people. I was complaining that I lost my tweezers and my husband remembered and he picked up this adorable pair of tweezers for me. I like how it has the heart print on it. I've been wanting to get one of these close-up mirrors for my vanity table for quite a while and I thought that this rabbit light was super cute. It's a little bit cheapy because everything is made of plastic so you kind of have to be careful with it but it lights up, you can plug it in or use a battery, it's super adorable. I also got this cloud mirror to put up on our wall. It wasn't that expensive at all, I think it was around 12,000 won or about 11 US dollars. It's really cute. I've been wanting one of these light boxes for a really long time and I remember that Cotton On was selling these. I think they were selling them for around 40 or 50 US dollars. This one was only 13,000 won, so about 12 US dollars or so. It's not the biggest one, it's the medium size and I found that the letters are kind of flimsy and they fall off pretty easily but it looks great and it also lights up. It comes with black letters as well as color letters and a few little pictures and you can either put a battery in the back or you can plug it in the wall if you want it to light up. But it looks pretty just as it is without the light behind it in my opinion. If you guys enjoyed that make sure to check out these playlists right here and don't forget to watch my Artbox part 1 video if you missed it. And I also want to give a big shout out and thank you to my Patreons and channel members. You guys are so amazing. Thank you for helping me to keep this channel up and running. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!